Urban renewal is most often undertaken to make life more secure and comfortable to the urban dwellers, attract investors and boost economic activities across the globe. Meanwhile, the bursting rate of urbanization without corresponding infrastructure has been one of the major challenges which many national and local government authorities in developing nations have to grapple with. The rapid population growth and urban sprawl being experienced in Nigeria have gradually limited infrastructural innovation, urban management and integration of sustainable urban practices. Challenges of waste disposal, traffic jam, flooding and the sociological correlates of urban decay has however not only hindered and rendered the growth of many sectors insignificant but has contributed to the stagnating economy of the country over the years. If you concentrate development on the urban centers alone, there will be urban drift, what we call urbanization. People will leave their villages and move into the city. So as you are providing the means of livelihood, providing smart cities, which also ensure that you have programs and projects at the rural level. Ah, wow, Delta State. See how beautiful my state has become. <laughs> Governor Ifayokoa. In Delta State, South-South Nigeria, Governor Arthur Ifanyokoa, through an effective and well-thought-out governance program, has enhanced infrastructural development through construction of good road network, storm drainages, bridges, as well as creation of green areas for recreation. Delta is a state of honey and milk. I see a lot of development by Okoa. Believe me, as a stranger I am from Portacot, the state is peaceful, the road and infrastructure. As you can see, everywhere is lightening and brightening. In fact, whether there's no Nepal light, is shining. I enjoy Delta State as a whole. Okoa has been a good governor to the state. He has brought a lot of lights. When I mean lights, valuable things, like look at our stadiums, our streets. The fraud that we are having, he has put an end to it. So he's a man of the people. I'm proud to have him as a governor. The developmental initiatives of Governor Ifanyokoa, even in the midst of the paucity of funds, has engendered robust economic activities in most urban centers in Delta State. These productive activities, in turn, have produced a vast array of employment opportunities that will influence the flow of labor, foster public life, visitation, business activities and events in city centers. I'm just coming all the way from Onicha. The place was very dry. But when I get to Asabaya, at least, the place is groovy. At least people is coming out. This is moving fine. The governor Ifan Okowa is trying because at least the place is safe. What governor Ifan Okowa is doing is actually increasing um, cash flow and making people troop into Asaba and things are booming like the infrastructures have been developed the town looks more colorful it's, it's good for business really and the security too <laughs> The urban renewal agenda of the Okoa-led administration has boosted the hospitality industry like clubs, bars, hotels and eateries. Recreation centers are springing up in an unprecedented manner. Nightlife has improved in many places in the state as Deltans now take time off their busy schedules to relax, thereby adding life to the urban renewal drive. <laughs> Delta State is a big state. It takes a lot from a governor to handle the state. There are various issues. So far and so good, the governor has been able to put a lot of effort in the state and the governor is going to finish in a grand style and he will write his name in a golden pen. Asaba is a small place, but it's a peaceful and organized place. So bringing this kind of business to Asaba here, it's going to add to hospitality and tourism at the end of the day because it has certainly put Asaba on another level when it comes to the map. 
of entertainment in Nigeria. The testimonies emanating from the streets in many ways have also shown that the prevailing peace factor which has been achieved in the past six years of the Okoa-led administration has brought back character and sense of place to the state and Deltans are better off. Delta State is a blessed state. There's no peace you can find anywhere in Nigeria than you can find here. Okowa is our man and he's known as Roadmaster. So the roads are okay. He has done well in terms of development, infrastructure and every other thing. I enjoy Delta here a lot. I have spent nine years to ten years in Lagos. Things were so difficult for me. Wahala, traffic. I will work, end on the salary. Before I will get my money, I don't really use half of the money. This is when I come back to Asabahi, at least. There's a little change. Not too much wala, not too much problem. People are good. It's calm. Environment sustainability in the state is as important as it is to the national and global communities. And the concept of the urban renewal of planting trees and shrubs within the environment has gone beyond combating the effects of climate change as it also provides additional glamour. The governor did say that if for any reason I must commission any road going forward, he wants to see trees planted everywhere. For aesthetic reason, the beauty of it, you, you can't imagine it, it's very beautiful. The trees are responsible for 75% of the oxygen we breathe. It will also help us to reduce the impact of uh, climate change. So we must say thank you to the governor for that will. So I think the, this administration is uh, operating in the right direction. The state government, in partnership with Fight Against Desert Encroachment, FAID, has judiciously planted trees and shrubs in strategic areas. The Smart Delta media crew joined the team on one of their routine planting exercises led by Bumi Obanau, Manager Operations Fight Against Desert Encroachment, FAID. We're trying to beautify the space and not just with vain aesthetics but with things that also help the people. There is priority given by the government at the moment to ensure that the cities across Delta State are beautiful. There's a lot of intensified efforts to ensure that Asaba is seen as one of those um, cities that is green and welcoming. Gardening a day keeps the doctors away, they say. Hence, our Smart Delta media reporter, Ewen Raku Henrietta, joined the horticulturists in their clearing and gardening exercise. We also sounded Daniel Israel and Godeogu on site. Take a listen. We plant, we water every morning for the next two months because they are still young. His Excellency Dr. Ifan Yokawa is somebody who has something upstairs who knows what his people need at a particular point in time. Like there's a time he would focus on the road and there's a time he focus on schools and there's a time he focus on flowers which means that he's a doctor himself which knows the kind of treatments to give to a patient. The people will surely come back when they see the beauty of their state. They travel there in the outside country to see more of this. So coming back, they are seeing the same thing here. They like feel at home. The governor, Ifan Okowa, is really doing well. He's doing well, but the city, transforming lives and data state entirely. As these activities were going on, we crossed paths with Mr. Chike, who was passing by. He halted his schedule for the time being to bring us up to speed on what Governor Ifan Okowa has done. Even though they are not for Governor Ifan Okowa, are appreciating his works today uh, because we have discovered that he has done so much for Delta State. Look at the edifices he put up in uh, Miriam Bangida Way. You can't find that in any state of the Federation of Nigeria. We also understand that at the moment he's trying to put up very good edifice at the Kukaran about and that will give him a very good legacy uh, when he leaves service. It is worth mentioning that the Asaba Capital Territory Development Agency has gotten rid of illegal shanties in the recent past to discourage defacing of streets. and regional planning law will enable us have a planned development of our state so it will be possible to continue to develop our urban cities within the context of the law without really having any true any challenges on the way. The Smart Delta Farmers Market scattered across the city for these vendors on the streets to display wares is so far the brainchild of the agency. 
and that expands the frontiers of commercial activities. These fruit vendors are glad that this one has come to stay. I want to appreciate the state government for a job well done. This new building, I like it so much. It's very, very okay. Even people that we are along the road, they now build, the, they add more shops to what we have before to contain them. So they now pick all of them to come and enter the fruit shop. And they also add beauty to the state. What is uh, trying to do is opening up Delta State for the future generation. And in working towards an environment that is healthy and friendly, this is not just friendly, it's neat and secured. With the Yuletide season here again, the government, according to tradition, embarked on beautification driven by a cultural uniqueness to enhance the aesthetics of the capital city, which has endeared Deltans to remain in these areas and for others to return home to settle in. We are here to see the beautification of Delta State because during Xmas period they beautify everywhere so that people will know what is happening. And this year's beautification is awesome. This will make people to come back for Christmas. The government is really trying. As you can see, it's as if you are not in Nigeria. When you go out, they see the light, everywhere is shining. You look, just look at you see, everywhere is so beautiful. But now you find your goa, it's really doing well. You can see the road, everywhere is so clean, so wonderful. As if Delta State is different from other states. I want to thank Dr. Ifan Okowa for giving us such a wonderful place for Christmas. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Zenith Bank PLC, as part of their social corporate responsibility, has decorations to celebrate Christmas as usual. The euphoria that pervades the air with this development attracts a lot of open air activities. Even the blind can see that this place is beautiful. A lot of activities are going on here as a result of the beautification. People are coming from all over the country to do one or two things in Asaba. The governor has really done a great job in his partnership with uh, Zenith Bank. It is very conducive for businesses. It's a cool town. Anything and everything we thrive in Nassaba. If you're not in Delta right now, <laughs> ah, you are missing. They're creating this place. It's a brand near social pride. People come in here. No one will say I'm coming out of social pride and it will not branch here to stick some pictures or feed the environment actually. If even myself, the reason why I'm still here till now is actually because of this decoration. Smart Delta. Hmm, who they call? Senior brother. <laughs> Hello, senior bros. Mm, how you doing? Good day, bros. Other side now. How not enjoy the COVID? <laughs> COVID is not enjoyment. <laughs> I the <did> joke. <laughs> well, I was watching Smart Delta on YouTube and I saw the beautiful things that Governor Okawa is doing in Delta State. Uh, now, what can you talk? Hey, bros, I bet. Now, Mick Paco, speak peace and I know we'll hear what you the talk. <laughs> I say, I see the beautiful things where Governor Okawa they do. Yes, so. Delta, Delta. Delta State, from glory to glory, higher, higher we go. Senior brother, I get news for you. You know, say before you travel, eh, flood the full asaba. As I talk to you, so for Delta State Governor, come and help you storm drainages. If you come now, eh, asaba sweet. I mean, it's smooth. <laughs> I hear say they attract foreign investors already. Yes, yeah, so senior brother, hope private partnership. You know, say we get peace and security for our Delta Make State. I give you news, senior brother. As I talk to you, so Governor, come and help you biggest secretariat for the whole Ninja Delta. Now, so we get better road network. Oh. Copy you well to the travel go village away. Well. The way of governor quite into road for that state, eh? even transporters they testify. Now so it build bridges where they link several communities. When I arrive Nigeria, first thing is to invest in Delta State. Hey, Delta, Delta, <laughs> Delta State, from glory to glory, higher, higher we go. Governor Okoa, transforming Delta State. Smart Delta. As the world continues to struggle and grapple with challenges, especially plastic waste management and its environmental issues, Governor Ifanyokoa has evolved unique strategies to address the problem. If we must have a clean society, what it therefore means is that we are going to have a smarter way of managing waste. There are private participants in the management of waste that has um, been responsible for the relative cleanliness of the state. We have two hubs in Delta. The idea for that one was muted by the Minister of Environment. I can tell you, in less than a year, you won't see one plastic bottle on the ground. 
the quest to be on top of the situation and bring up to date information to Deltons led our team to visit these establishments to see things for ourselves. This is the Delta State Government Integrated Waste Management Facility. In here is an aggregation hub managed by Recycle Point that runs an incentive based scheme while collecting recyclables. I have with me Taos Ogwe, the supervisor of this hub. He will tell us more on how value is created from this everyday waste. Good day, sir. How are you doing, sir? So I would like to know measures you've adopted to reduce plastic waste in Delta State and how you create value from these recyclables. This recycle plant is an incentive-based scheme where we encourage the household to rethink, recycle, and get reward for it. Then we run two programs. We have the iRecycle program and the WPI, which is Waste Pickers Initiative. In the iRecycle, we encourage them to recycle and get rewarded by winning an, a household items. Meanwhile, that of the WPI, we encourage them to recycle, give to us, then we, we pay them in cash. So one of the modality is with me here is the Dory Bean. Place each and every one of them. We place one in Obogonogo area where we have the market, which is the Umwaji. Then we have a direct labor agency areas, then the Bonsak area too. So when you keep or you put something in here, you receive money or you receive gift items? Yes. If you want to subscribe, we give you two programs that we use. We have uh, the iRecycle where you bring recycle we convert it to point and at the end of the day we give you a household item then the second one is wpi which is waste speakers initiative you pick and give us then we pay you in cash according to the weight in kilograms with the cleanup and recycle drive of plastic bottles solid chemicals also is set to transform trash into treasure we met Francis Uchechuku, who took us to an avalanche of pet bottles of over 120,000 kilograms. He shed some light on how a great percentage of these pet bottles collected are reproduced into belts for exportation. This is the end product that we intend to achieve at the end of the production. This actually, this was the ones we text on before the machine it was shipped to Nigeria. So this is exactly what we're going to ship of different sizes and uh, depends on what they want. But this one is for interlocking tires. So for some other thing, they can make it smaller or bigger depending on the, the sizes the customer wants. With this, yes, it's ready for export. Mr. Francis's style of making beauty out of ashes would also prefer job opportunities to Deltons. Hear him. Behind me here, we're going to employ like 200 direct staffs that will be in charge of uh, removing the labels, removing the cap, and sorting it out. And they will get paid on daily basis. And uh, we're looking at 100 indirect jobs from outside. Uh, we're going to remove 10 tons of pet bottles every day. And I assure you, in the next six months, it will be very difficult for you to get this kind of bottle on the street because we're going to add value to it. So nobody throws it away because they will know that once you gather, it's going to make money for you. Aware of challenges that can substantially affect the standard of living for residents such as poor road network, potholes and flooding, Senator Koa, through the Minister of Works and other sister MDAs, have reconstructed and rehabilitated several road projects to provide access to inner cities. This has, in no small way, contributed to the development of towns and cities. All the roads, they are wonderful. You concentrate dirty north, central and south. If you go to Rivera area, the got roads. The day I went to Bomegbene, I saw the roads wonderful. I asked, they said it's so that I did it. So he touches everywhere. He's a man we, we should be proud of. We are proud of him in the sense that he keeps to his promise. And today, if you look at Delta State, you can see that everywhere, the road and infrastructure is going on, so we appreciate him. Agrarian communities have been opened up and linked as a result of the construction of bridge infrastructure. This improves the commerce transactions, strengthens the community's connection to public places, and encourages habitual visitation. The indigenous of Efronto, Owo, 
Ororope, Oha, and Agbaro Orere communities till date still sing songs of praises. Hear them. <laughs> Building of bridges is very, very important economically because people can now pass freely with whatever they are, especially those in the interior. We are very happy that we have a new bridge. Today we are not suffering for the road. Look at how people are passing very free. So we thank the government. Another wonder of the Okawa administration is the Miriam Babengida Road, which used to be a maze of abandoned workshops, plazas, and stores a few years ago. But now, housing, completed structures, and fast-finishing buildings. It plays host to the State Library, the sophisticated Court of Appeal Complex, and the just-inaugurated ultra-modern Professor Chike Edozia Secretariat Complex by the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibajo, SAN, GCON. <laughs> His Excellency, the Governor of Delta State, deserves commendation. Despite dwindling revenue receipts and severe resource constraints across all levels of government in our country, you have been able to provide the funding for this project. Other notable projects that have added verve to the urban renewal drive of the Okawa-led administration is the Traditional Rulers Council Secretariat, world-class Stephen Keshi Stadium, and Category 6 Asaba International Airport. It's the Boeing 737 Classic, um, one of the most popular airplanes all over the world for short-off flights. Fantastic, smooth, nice. Good airport, good people, good service to the governor and to the people of this state. Fantastic job, they should keep it up. <laughs> In tandem with Governor Fanyokoa's Prosperity for All Deltans agenda, artisans, petty traders, suppliers and others have witnessed a period of an economic boom since its inception in 2015. To further boost industrialization policy of the state government, the nearly ready to be commissioned ultra modern mechanic village and auto parts will be a business hub of all artisans and spare parts dealers in the state. Sanyata. Kingsley Jaja, the site engineer, took us around to see the level they have gotten to. When you go to places, you see all these roadside mechanics and they're well, having such a place instead of going to Onicha to get past our going to Benin, we have it. You also add to the state income and tax uh, revenue to boost the state economy and the rest. The executive governor of Delta State, Senator Ato Ifa Yokoa, Ekweme, he has done marvelously well for this project. His intention of embarking on this project will definitely uplift and enhance the commercial activities in Delta State. So I give him kudos for embarking on this project. Viewed from all facets, Governor Ifanyakawa's well thought out initiatives in many areas of the economy has significantly helped broaden the economic base of the state and demonstrated his political will towards transforming the urban centers as he continues to build a scenic and stronger delta. The feedback segment. Question of the day. Can the state government put waste bin in every street, every place that people gather a lot, particularly in Tabua here, like, like this now? They should have waste bin like four or five in different corners. We must appreciate Godwin Emmanuel for uh, that question. There are bins already. In the resident, there are bins. Then we are planting bins. A strategic location everywhere, especially that roundabout where we have a lot of purification. Now, one thing is to have this be the next thing is to also sensitize. I'm going to deploy the staff of the Ministry of Environment to go to the place and go about sensitizing every person who is going there to either relax or just to catch a glimpse of uh, the beauty of the place. Let me assure God in Manuel that these 
will be planted everywhere. I want to urge all the attends and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 081211. Nine two one three three, or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. It better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is. They do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is. They do I see a job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okowa. I say good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state. Tell me tell